basically started with cracking games on home computers in the early 80s. It's sure that one of the first computers used widely for sin activities was the Commodore 64. The reason of the quick success of microcomputers was the great number of game programs available for them. The Commodore 64 had the same graphical and audio capabilities as contemporary arcade consoles, but besides, it offered even more. For example, it was programmable, and the most important, one could copy the game programs that was impossible to do for game consoles. Crackers started to remove game copy protections for fun and competition with other crackers. Instead of just spreading the cracked games, they soon thought about labeling their release. It quickly set up a fashion. The cracker scene was flourishing around 1985. Groups formed around the globe, dedicated to cracking. A kind of competition started. This kind of contest became so popular that the names disappeared from the game's title screens and separate programs started to appear, executed just before launching the main program itself, showing the name of the cracker group. These were the so-called cracker intros, the crack trolls. In the late 80s, the legal port of the cracking and wires scene slowly drifted away from the illegal port. Intros became more and more advanced. Mega demos, several skilled intros in a row, appeared. And the fact that this part of the scene were not anymore involved with legal activities allowed them to communicate with more freedom as well by organizing public meetings called demo parties in order for each other to attend several competitions with the creations and to meet with all the other sinners. The demo scene was born. If you wonder what the demo scene is all about, you should imagine a huge underground community of young people organized into groups which compete in the art of creating real-time multimedia presentations called demos. Demos combine real-time 3D graphics, 2D effects, bitmap graphics and music into one fluid presentation that is synchronized it is to be emphasized that real-time is really the key word here, as demo is never just a pre-rendered animation. Computer demos should not be confused with the demo versions of commercial programs. There are demos too, but the word demo in this context means a program that its purpose is to show the technical and artistic skills of its makers and to produce audiovisual pleasure for the viewer. A computer demo usually includes various kinds of real-time produced computer graphic effects, which have mostly little relation to each other with a fast-paced modern music as a background. In a way, demo could be described as a sort of music video or a short computer animation film, without a plot or message other than showing what the demo group is able to do. An important distinction between demos and conventional movies or videos is that the visual effects seen in demos 
are computed real-time, instead of being rendered in beforehand, like computer animations we used to see from Pixar or DreamWorks movie for example, where whole days of computer time are spent to calculate just one little second of animation. Demos are mostly a group effort. The most important member of a demo group is usually the programmer, called the coder. Demos were conventionally programmed in Assembler. But nowadays, C and C++ are also very popular, and only the most time-critical parts of the demos are still programmed in hand-optimized Assembler. The original ideology of the demo programmers is to build everything from scratch and to push the available hardware to its limits and beyond. The routines created are the ones that synchronize the music, display pictures and graphics, or do the so-called effects. Graphics, or GFX, are the work of graphicians. This discipline used to be a hard pixel-by-pixel -pixel work, but it nowadays tends to be realized using dedicated hardware and software, like graphic tablets, and gets closer to hand drawing. One of the graphician role is also to modelize the 3D objects and to animate them in a virtual 3D world. The musician makes, creates and composes the track that can be heard while images and special effects are shown on the screen. It's usually accurately synchronized within different parts of the demo, using several rhythm changes and breaks. Demoscene members organize big meetings called demo parties. They usually last few days and contain so much different kind of events that the attenders rarely get a good night's sleep. People go to demo parties to meet other demoscene members, swapping files, sharing knowledge, watch and attend to various competitions. The best competition entries are usually rewarded with prizes sometimes money, but more often computer hardware goods offered by sponsors. In big demo parties, the number of entries for a competition can be very big. A small jury, consisting of scene members, first review the entries, and a limited amount of them are then shown to the big audience. It's a very creative process because it's the process that counts. Uh, from scratch till uh, the demo, that's what the demo scene for me is all about. It's, a lot of people go for the product and say oh, that demo is good, that one is bad. That doesn't really matter because it's a process, it's a learning thing and that's what that's what attracting me uh, the most. I've been also, I'm part, I'm the founder and part, I'm everything about the epic tour, epic voyage. I've been traveling around seven demo parties in, uh, <laughs> in, uh, during this summer and it's this unconditional love for the scene and for the sceners and for the amazing productions and for this unique subculture which is the, the demo scene. People are coming from all over the world, um, as far as Canada or whatever. You have, you have people from all over the world coming here and uh, gathering and uh, that, is, that is very important um, and that is something that needs to be supported. Watch demos and perhaps uh, find out how, how they are done and do demos because doing demos is far, far, far better than watching demos. So create. Every, everyone can do that, so, well, do.
make more demos, make good demos, make funny demos, make happy demos, make fast demos, make slow demos. I don't care, just make it good and make it yourself like it. Thank you very much for being here, being part of all of this, competing, having fun.